Hey guys, exciting news today. We got Prepping 101 we're going to go over. Uh, a lot of people ask me in the comments, and I've asked the question before too, especially just starting out. Uh, hey, I know I need to start doing something, but I just don't know where to start. What do I do? So I'm bringing my buddy. He's brand new. He's brand new. He's a... Uh, He's an avid camper, hiker, mountain biker, outdoorsman, um, but he wants to start getting prepared. So we're going over to U.S. Foods today, and we are going to buy some supplies. Basically, we're looking for some food. We don't have to get the whole gusto the first time out, but we're looking for a start. So he bought some Mylar bags and some oxygen absorbers, and now we got to buy some goodies to stick in those um, bags and put up on the shelf for bad times. We know they're coming. So we're going to take you through on the uh, journey with us and we're going to go over some prices and kind of figure out what everything costs so you have an idea. Of course, prices are going to vary based on where you shop and what you have in your area. But it's going to give you a basic overall idea of what you can get and what you can expect to pay for it. So stick around. Hey guys, we're here. We're at the store, U.S. Foods. If you've never uh, shopped at one of these, they're pretty cool. Just a bulk, like a restaurant supply store. So we're going to pick up some goodies and uh, we'll show you what's what in a minute. All right, gang, Basmati rice, 40 pounds, 38, 48. I don't know if that's a great price or not, but uh, we're here, that's what it costs. Um, it certainly is a lot of food. Also picked up a gallon jug of Jim Ultra Virgin Olive Oil. Uh, I think it's like $22. So that's something I'm gonna use all the time. This rice is something that uh, my buddy was gonna put back up on the shelf in the Mylar bags. Let's keep going. Uh, we got a little more practical and opted for the 50 pound bag of long grain white rice, $16. Way better, way better value. Uh, it may not be as good for you, it may not be um, as tasty, but it's certainly going to uh, fill your belly. Alright, we, we got some dry pinto beans, 20 pounds for $15.58. Black eye. Lentils. We also have black eyed, it's the prices, black eyed peas, um, green split dry peas. Uh, so those are the prices on those. Just giving you an idea what these things cost. Alright, we just picked up a case, 24 16 ounce, 16.9 fluid ounce bottles of uh, purified drinking water for $2.55. Um, obviously, You'd want more water than this, and obviously uh, the advanced or more advanced, you're probably going to have a filter system set up that can uh, filter out more drinking water. But everyone's got to start somewhere. So this and is we're it. doing this incrementally. What's that? We're doing this incrementally. Incrementally, right. Oh, dude, you're never done. That's the thing about this. No matter what you have, no matter how much you have, you never feel like you're totally prepared. That's just the nature of the beast, right? All right, guys, certainly uh, not something that's a necessary staple, but I think it's going to be an awesome luxury to have. It's something to sweeten up your chow, your coffee, your tea, or not your coffee, but your tea um, and, and certain foods. Twelve seventy-eight for five pounds of honey. Got to dig it. Love the honey. All right, we got 10 pounds of pasta or springs uh, roti for uh, $8.28. I don't know if you can beat that deal. All right, we got Big can, six pound cans of uh, sliced white potatoes, 4.48. Also, um, they have it available in whole potatoes. You see what that costs, and of course, diced potatoes, even less expensive. All right, so you got canned beans here, lima beans, uh, six pound can, five bucks. Uh, sweet green peas, number ten can, 558. And even a more economical number 10 can, 528. I'm going to flip around here and show you. You can get these big cans of uh, diced tomatoes, crushed whole tomatoes, whole peeled tomatoes. Uh, I just picked up a can for $4.38. We use that stuff all the time, so that doesn't sit around, but I, I do have some on the shelf that we rotate out from time to time. All right, so we got a million uses for vinegar, right? So uh, we're picking up some apple cider. It's, it's a name brand, right? Distilled 5% acidity, $4.68. Now you got choices down here, uh, and even, even the uh, off brand name is 10 cents more for the same vinegar. I guess one's distilled, one's not. I would assume the distilled is better, but what the heck do I know? Uh, cooking Here's wine. Better. Ah, yeah, that's, that's white vinegar though, which, which I need some of that as well. So here's the Monarch distilled white vinegar, 248. I use this for, um, I actually use this for weed killer. I'm going to get two gallons of that. 
So I use that net to, to clean with. You can. That could be the only cleaning product you use in your house. Do windows with it, do surfaces, it's awesome cleaner. Uh, I'm sure there's a thousand other uses, but I use it along with Dawn dish detergent and uh, like a rock salt or a fuel salt to make meat killer. Uh, a great job. That's cheap as heck. You buy this stuff for uh, you know a smaller bottle, I think you're paying like a dollar fifty two bucks in the store for way more you you you're getting it for two forty eight. All right, I don't know if you can see that, but basically my buddy here spent $99.80. It says it right there. I don't know why this dang iPhone. I'm going to try to get it to focus. No, it's not focusing. And I spent, and I got uh, way less than he did, but I spent $57.06. So, um, you know, he's in for under 100 bucks, and I think I told him between 100 and 150 uh, he can get himself started. He's got 50 pounds of rice, 20 pounds of dried beans, 10 pounds of macaroni. Uh, he's got a couple of uh, six pound cans of potatoes. He's got vinegar. He's got olive oil, which he certainly didn't need extra virgin olive oil. Oh yeah, he got he got two 10 pound bags. A pasta. Yeah, he got spaghetti and uh, I think he got uh, springs. Um, actually, you have four cans yeah, of something in there. Two potatoes, one tomato, and one lima bean. Okay, all right, so I, I'm gonna just estimate this. Uh, family of four, and, and we're talking kids under the age of 12 years old. Um, I'm gonna estimate that, uh, you know, with the food that you bought, and let's just take out the vinegar and take out the olive oil, he spent about $65. So for $65, I'm estimating he's got enough food for two weeks. Not bad. Oh, and he got a case of water to boot. And to eat fairly. Yeah. I mean, you know what? You're not going to start. For, so for $65, you got a life insurance policy that m may very well save save yourself, save your kids, save your wife. Um, and I just picked up some odds and ends. Uh, and I spent, you know, again, I got the olive oil, which was the most expensive thing. And I got the honey, which was the second most expensive thing. So you back those two things out. Uh, and I spent $30. I mean, come on. Yeah. Can't beat it, guys. So you don't have to have a bunch of money to... Uh, to start off. So if you're new to this thing, um, for less than $100, you can get yourself a couple weeks worth of food for you and three other people in your family. Not bad. Um, next step is we're going to build a water filter out of two five gallon pails, buckets, um, and then one of the uh, um, ceramic candle filters that I use in my Berkey. And that cost me about $20 for the uh, filter, maybe $22. And then the, the buckets I got for free, but if you were to buy them at Lowe's, they're $3 a piece and a couple of lids, or $2 a piece roughly. So that's uh, $10 for the buckets, $22 for the, for the filter. You're talking $42 for basically unlimited amount of drinking water. It's pretty unreal. All right. All right, guys, so moment of truth here. We got the Mylar bags, we got the oxygen absorbers, um, and we got the bag of rice you know what it's, it's deceiving how much food 50 pounds of rice is uh, we said two weeks worth of food crying out loud it's probably more like a month when we're talking about it and the bags we're using are 300 cc yeah 300 bags. cc do you remember what you paid for those for all that stuff well that's fine I just I didn't know if you if you asked me um, now you can certainly use a flat iron for this most people do but he went ahead and he bought the heat sealer the professional heat sealer a flat iron works just fine I'm going to go ahead and just kind of show you guys that haven't done this before how easy it is and you're not tipping it all over. But you know, we, we initially started by lifting the bag, but that was taking forever and 50 pounds of rice gets heavy. There you go. The birds are going to love us out here. So, these cups are pretty big and uh, the last one probably took, I don't know, 15-20 cups to fill. You're losing it. Set her down. Yeah, there you go. I'll try to help out. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright, we'll get back here when it comes time to seal it up in the oxygen absorber. You get you get that point. Alright, so we throw in the 300 cc oxygen absorber and uh, we're gonna start sealing it up. Now the little trick little trick here um, is you don't want to seal the bag all the way you want to seal it most of the way then stop push out as much oxygen as you possibly can and then finish sealing it up the rest of the way it helps get out as much oxygen as you can 
Okay, for your time. All right, let's get the rest of that. All right, see how we got almost all of it out. You can see there's just a little bit left. Oh, that, that popped yeah, right there too. Popped. Well, the first one sealed a lot easier than this. I guess maybe we're just rushing this time. I'm nervous for the camera. I'm telling you, I think a flat iron would be easier, but... Well, that worked. Yeah, all right, that worked. And that got it. All right, so that's all we're going to do after this is we're going to take a Sharpie. We're going to write on there that it's white rice, the date that it was packaged, um, and we're going to put them in the freezer. And I think it's 24 or 48 hours you want to freeze these out in case there's any larva or any bacteria or whatever it's supposed to kill it off. Uh, it's going to be safer for long-term storage. And then you take it out and you put it up on a shelf. Some people put it in five-gallon buckets. Do whatever you want, but they're going to be uh, watertight in there and airtight in there. Um, open them up whenever you need them. And, you know, these are practical preps, man. We spent, you know, a little bit of money to put food on the shelf. And if nothing bad ever happens, you can always eat this stuff. And I can almost guarantee you that two years from now, this rice is going to cost more than it did today. Five yeah. years from now, it's going to cost a lot more. Ten years from now, who knows? Um, so you're using this as a hedge against inflation. You're fighting inflation. Um, so even if nothing bad ever happens, I can't think of anything more pragmatic than putting up food that you can eat um, for long-term long storage. And so. don't forget, the Mylar bags, the oxygen um, packets. Mm, yeah. I mean, I think I paid $43 for right, so, everything. So. And I got three different size bags. Yeah, you went, you went out and you got quite a bit of stuff. So I got uh, the 300cc... Um, with this one, this was, this one's even larger. This oh, is, okay. Yeah, so Maybe that's... That's the one we should be using, huh? Um, and then I got the smaller ones. Okay. Okay, so, so this is the quart okay. bags here. But All you right. can get them in any size. Yep. All right, guys, so it doesn't take a whole lot of money. Uh, you can do this on a shoestring budget and get some insurance for you and your family. Uh, I just don't know how you're going to go wrong doing this, so... All right, thanks for watching.